Hi everybody, it's Jennifer McCreef. It is August 1st, 2015. Long way away from October 19th, but uh, for those of you who are paying attention to politics, you've probably heard that there's a chance that the writ will be dropped within the next day or two and the official campaign will be getting underway. First and foremost, I want to, uh, I guess, do something that a lot of candidates might not do, and that's recognize all competition. You're going to be seeing a lot of coverage on mainstream media, television, radio, focusing in on the big three parties. Stephen Harper's Conservatives, Justin Trudeau's Liberals, and Thomas Mulcair's New Democrats. What you're probably not going to hear a lot about of on mainstream media are the fact that there are actually six parties that currently hold seats in that house and that there is a grand total of 22 registered and eligible political parties who intend on running candidates in the upcoming election. I think it's critically important for all Canadians to pay attention to this election and it's in their own best interest to learn about all parties, specifically all candidates that are running in your riding so you can make the most informed decision possible so that you can send the best possible representation to Ottawa to represent your best interests. So I'm going to take my eyes off the camera and read this list. I'm going to read you the names of every single political party that is out there, registered, uh, registered means they've already run candidates. Eligible means they've never yet run a candidate, but they plan to. So let's go through this list. I think it's in alphabetical order, starting with the eligible parties, the new ones. The Canada Party. The Democratic Advancement Party of Canada. Forces a Democrati, also known as Strength in Democracy, which is my party. You'll be hearing a lot more about us, uh, so I won't go too deep into this video on that. There's also a Seniors Party of Canada. Four parties. Never run candidates in an election, but intend to. What makes forces a Democrat unique is we have two sitting members already who were initially elected through other parties, but decided to uh, leave for a variety of reasons. Now let's take a look at all these others. 22 minus 4, that's 18 parties that have run candidates in the past and plan to in the future. Animal Alliance Environment of Voters Party of Canada, the Bloc Québécois, who has two seats in the current House, Canadian Action Party, the Christian Heritage Party, the Communist Party, the Conservative Party, the Green Party, the Liberal Party, the Libertarian Party. Marijuana Party, Marxist-Leninist Party, New Democratic Party, Party for Accountability, Competency and Transparency, the Pirate Party of Canada, the Progressive Canadian Party, the Rhinoceros Party, the Bridge Party, and the United Party. Whew. Now, granted, not all of these parties are going to run candidates in every single riding, so you might not necessarily have to do research on each and every one of these, but why not? I know there's a lot of you people out there watching who are fed up with the big three, as we're known as. I'm one of them. I admit it, I'm a former card-holding member of the federal NDP party, but I left them because I had too many concerns about the way they did business. And likewise, I've held, had provincial involvement with multiple of the three main parties, but right now I am not supporting, endorsing, or voting for any of the big three. I've joined Strength and Democracy, and I realize it's going to be an uphill battle for most of these other parties, and it's shameful that these bigwig media organizations are doing their best to drown us out. All these debates, the coverage about who's being nominated as candidates, Heck, I think it's big news that Force Democrati is now running a candidate in Newfoundland 
And then that candidate happens to be Jennifer McCreeth, a well-known transgender activist, marathon runner, among several other movements. Barely a mention out of anybody. Um, nice little plug there for NTV for giving me 40, a 40-second 40 clip on the news there. But uh, the good news in 2015 is we don't have to rely on the, the newspapers and the TVs and the radios. We've got websites. We've got social media. We've got Facebook. We've got Twitter. We've got so many other ways to find out who your candidates are. And for you to engage with the candidates, I'm going to put out a bio about me, who I am, what I stand for, but ultimately this campaign is not about me, it's about you people of Avalon riding Newfoundland. I want to bring your voice to Ottawa and forces a democrat is the party that will not put a muzzle on me. If you vote for Stephen Harper's candidate, there's going to be limits to what that candidate is going to be able to say or do. Likewise, Liberal and NDP. How much do any of those three parties know, at least their leaders, know about the issues of rural Newfoundland? So I'll let you be the judge of that. But uh, yeah, just a, a shout out. Um, every party has a, has a right to have their voice heard and be treated with respect and equality. And I hope all citizens will take their moral duty seriously. Get out there and, and vote. Get to know your candidates. If you don't like any of the big three, that's fine. Get to know one of the others. Pick one you like. Join the party. Promote them. Talk about the issues. Even ones you don't like, have conversations with them. I mean, if I get myself elected, I'm not just representing myself and my party, I'm representing 86,000 plus people that live in the riding. And I don't care which of the 22 parties um, is your favorite. I want you to know that you can come to me, you can phone me, you can email me, you can come into my office, and we'll sit down and have a conversation. I'll treat you with respect and dignity, no matter who you are. And that's ultimately what this is all about. So Canada, take an interest in this election. I know it's still summer. You're going to see a lot of Stephen Harper advertisements across your TV, across your radio, in the newspaper. Um, you probably won't see a lot from me because I don't have the, the millions and millions of dollars hidden in a war chest. My campaign is going to be more word of mouth, um, social media, and uh, hopefully as much face-to-face -face meetings. I'm looking to get out into the riding and do some town hall events, do some door knocking. But... Uh, I want to hear from you people. What What is it that you don't like about the way politics are happening now? What could be done differently? What should be done differently? And what can I do to help make our country a better place? Anyways, welcome to the campaign. Uh, I guess the writ's going to drop in a day or two and we'll make it official. Um, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Jennifer McCreeth. And I am now turning off the camera. I can find the button here.